folks. Pull plant tonight, heading back out. As you can see, we're the coast again. So, tonight's a wee bit closer to home. I'm going to be hike along the beach to buy a castle. I'm going to be a spot and I'm going to down. So, I'm going to bring a hammock tonight. So, I've got the mock from R5. Uh, I've also got the Yovo Freedom stand with me. Probably come to the beach and that. There's not that many trees, but that's bit of cat that's uh, Yovo Freedom stand's amazing. Just means you can hammock camp anywhere. So let's go on with it. Right, I was going to go further along, I was going to find, I was thinking about finding a, an actual grassy bit. I don't know where I'll just uh, basically camp at that bit there. Oh sorry, that bit there. But I'll maybe walk along a wee bit further. Uh, there's another bit kind of, up where the kind of break those trees is. So I'll maybe go and have a wee look at that. If not, I'll come back here. But, here we go. That's that. That spot there will do. I was going to put it in the sand, but I might as well just stick it in the grass. That's where we're going for tonight. And that's Bugsy just phoned me. So Bugsy might join me now. And possibly the Scottish Wanderer. Whether he, he'll come or not, I don't know. He's been able for a wee while. But Bugsy's phoned, so hopefully Bugsy will make it tonight. If not, it's going to be a solo. But fingers crossed, Bugsy will come. Right now, it's time to get the, the hammock set up. Well, not just the hammock. I need to set up this, uh, what's it called? Yobo Freedom Stand. So I'll show you that when I, when I take it out. Oh, I'll tell you, my bag weighs an absolute ton tonight. But it's all good. Right, this is the Yobo Gear Freedom Stand. So I'm going to put that up first. So, Yobo Freedom Stand, this is the kind of pack it comes in and it just rolls out It really is, it's an ingenious bit of kit this and it's very good quality I mean, looking at that, they're dark poles but I mean look at the size of these things Absolutely gigantic But it's basically, it's four, four kind of poles that extend out and then you attach these sections etc. It's got a couple of wee kind of sections for the the tarp as well. If you want to put a tarp up, well, it depends. Occasionally I've have it out and I've not used that. It's also got all different kind of feet. Ones for hard ground, ones for soft ground. I know there's ones somewhere you even look for sand as well. So, so it really is a it's an ingenious bit of kit. But right now we'll put it all together to show that it's it light. Each individual pole actually just slides out. You get these wee kind of pins and they basically just slot in, slot into place and get it and then that's the same all the way down oh, it's a little bit too far right in so you basically do that you can obviously adjust the height of it depending on how high up you want it oh, I pulled that one too far There we go. So, that's one of them. You see, do that times four. Right, so that's the four of them. Right, then you're getting these two pieces and they slot onto the top. And then just peg it in, strap up your hammock system. We're good to go. So let's go on with it. Fixed in, 
is the Amok Winter Pad Brilliant Pad Dust We literally had to like it this hammock as well Because it's a, I think the, the pad was down to minus 18 if I remember rightly uh, So you don't even You basically don't even need a You don't even need a An under blanket it really is just, It's just a fantastic bit of kit It does come with a um, one of these well it's a bag that it comes in but basically it just means that you can fill it with the air I do actually have my what's that thing called uh, flexi tail gear pump I've got that with me but oh a bit of elbow grease and I must admit with this bag it's a decent sized bag as well it's not what I used to Thing. So just basically fill it up in the air and before I know it, this thing will be pumped up Right, once the pad's pumped up what it does is basically pop into the bottom of it You basically, there's a kind of zip section so it just, you basically slide it in Once you've slid it in, it, it zips up at the bottom That basically holds the pad in place It's also got these two wee poles at either end I think this is the, the, newest, the newest version I think before you had to get a couple of sticks to do this But now they, they basically add Oh, excuse me I'm, Snotter in there, yeah, but the, that basically holds your foot pad out. And then go around here. There's a there's one at the head end as well. So you see there, it just slots into the top. Final thing to put on is the tarp. So again, with the Yobo stand, it comes with these additional sections. So obviously, want to put a tarp up. That's what we're going to attach it to. So there's one of these at either side. And they just both slot in. Boom. Well, right, that's us ready, all set up. So that's our Mock Dramore 5. What a bit of kit. Mock Dramore 5 hammock, tarp, uh, the Yobo gear, freedom stand. So, like I say, basically hammock camp, whatever you want. Inside, where I got tonight, I've just got the ex army Arctic sleeping bag. It's to be cold tonight. Uh, I know last night it was snowing and it's not often you get snow down here but there was a fair bit of snow I'm saying a fair bit of snow, there was a dust of snow down where we are but beautiful spot again again hopefully Bugsy hopefully Bugsy turns up but the sun got here, got set up just in time the sun will be starting to kind of get down I think the sun sets just after 6 I'm looking out towards Aaron there's I can see little rain clouds, I don't know if they're rain clouds or snow clouds or you can see it coming down but that's over there, not over here whereas I've got a nice, nice sunny spot well, I'm saying sunny spot, it's just about to go into the shade but, do me so, time for a brew I think brew time so, I'm going to have a brew I've got some tea, I'm going to cook some later on I'm going to wait to I think the bugs in that get here, or whether it's bugsy. Whether well, they actually come or not, I don't know. But we're good, I've not seen budget, eh, budgie. I've not seen bugsy in a wee while. So wait for them turning up. Anyway, brew time. Brew time, and a wee bit of chocolate. 
Thanks very much. You know who you are. Green and Black's organic collection. Whoa, let's see. What have we got? Almond, 37% cocoa. We've got butterscotch, we've got ginger, hazelnut, and currant, and 70% cocoa. Just take the first one out. What's this? Green and Black's organic, 37% cocoa. I'm sure that'll taste fantastic. It's nice chocolate, green and Black's. Oh, it's almost like a wee mini, mini bar of chocolate. Mm. Oh yeah. Nice. So I'm set up in that. Or maybe what I'll do, I might, I might stick the drone up just before the, the sun disappears, see if I can get a wee bit of footage just sitting here. And then. I don't know, I might even cook some tea. I've got a couple of things actually. Some of the company that sent me some uh, one of these kind of freeze dried meals. They've sent me a few, two or three of them. And I've not tried it, tried any of them yet, so I'll maybe try. I'm, I'm having one of them just now, just while I'm making the bugs in that coming down. Why not? Darkness is falling, or not quite falling, but probably hardly see me. I'll need to get a. Uh, definitely, it's cold tonight. Definitely, it's cold. Uh, so, I'm going to uh, get a big jacket on. Some will cook anything. Don't know where bugs and that Whether or not they'll come there, I don't know. Uh, so, I'm going to. I've got some to actually cook, but I've got another thing that I just need to boil water. So, I'll we'll get, we'll get that out just now. Yeah, we'll get some light in the matter as well. I need a, a torch and that. We'll get sorted out. Some tea. But now I'm just, uh, I'll be honest, I'm just sitting back with say, uh, I'm up to wash five. Oh, it's just so comfy. The mat, you can actually feel the heat reflecting off that mat. It's brilliant. Anyway, time for some tea, I think. I'm going to boil some water up. Uh, I've got the silver ant. Got a fuel burner. We can a windshield, all titanium, comes with a wee set, there's also another wee pot and a wee frying pan as well. So, I'm just going to put some, I basically use bioethanol, I'll just find, I don't know, just burns a lot cleaner I think. Right, so I just I just dip it in like that, and then hopefully. Yeah. So what I normally do, I just let it kind of catch. While doing that, uh, what I need to do is get some water. Right. Should that off. 
Alright. So, we stick that on. Let that boil up. Might even put the wee as a frying pan. You can all choose as a lid. Maybe just stick that one as well. Right, what we're we gonna have just now. So this is a company called Readywise. I'll stick a link down below for this as well. Uh, this one's Southwest Rice and Beans. Southwest style rice and beans and a savoury tomato sauce. So we'll see what it's like. Alright, it'll be pretty good. 180 calories. Oh, it says four servings per, per container. Oh, it does say bring four cups of water, water to a boil. Add to the pouch, cover. Let it stand for 12-15 minutes, stir it occasionally. Uncover, let it cool, and then serve. Even says there, in an emergency situation with no access to a heat source, add four cups of water, mix well, let it stand for 15-20 minutes before serving. So you must be actually, you must be able to actually eat this cold as well. But I've never tried getting from Readywise, so we'll see what that's like. Like I say, and I'll put it on this time all as well. Come on, water, boil. It's freezing tonight. Absolutely freezing. So I've got a bigger jacket on. No gloves on. Uh, these are for uh, Trek mates. Did a review video on a couple of things for Trek mates. A cap. Uh, there's a hat. These gloves. They're actually quite, they're actually quite nice. I've done a review video. There's a link in that as well. Yeah, there's a new video I did of these, but nice, decent enough set of gloves. So, let's say temperature, definitely cold tonight, so I'm going to get something hot inside to basically some, some tea, try to heat up, get my core heated up, then I'm going to, look, I'm going to see if I can find a kind of wee sheltered bit, I think we'll have a wee fire. But before we do anything, we want to wait on that for a cheeky wee end of lessons. See if we can get it open. There we go. Right. Ching ching folks. Just hope we don't freeze to death. Fine. Like I say, I just need to get that water boiling. Well, it's getting there. Right, and then we'll chuck it in. Oh, I'm starving actually now. Plus, I, I don't know that way. I'm, I'm looking for some warm inside me. And then what I'll do, I'll just I'll hold off. I don't know. It's only, I think, what is the time? I don't know, it's about half six, seven o'clock maybe. So, I don't know. Put that thing, I'll be able to see if, but if Bugsy does turn up, I'll be able to see you for miles because I imagine I'll have a head top so on. I'm uh, just trying to work out what way thinking the wind's kind of almost coming in through the side. I'm kind of a bit more sheltered. I've, I've kind of come round to this side of the, the hammock. The actual hammock's kind of shielding me from the wind at the moment. I think what I might do later on is I'm going to adjust uh, the guy lines, the position of where the tarp is, and try to bring the sides down a wee bit. Just to give me a bit of extra protection to the wind. Right, to be honest, once I'm in that Arctic sleeping bag and I'm sitting on top of the that amok pad, I'll be, I'll be warm anyway, sir. 
babbling for so some tea. Anyway, I'm just babbling on just now, so I'll bring you back once for my, for, 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 and I'll, well, I'll tell you what that tastes like. We'll see, well, I reckon it should be very good. But we'll soon find out. Well, soon, we'll soon find out. It's, it's pretty breezy, it's cold. We'll see how long that takes to boil. That's a great reset, that. Obviously, with a, a fuel, a uh, fuel stove. So it's going to take a wee bit longer to boil water, but sometimes it's actually better for the, uh, I think if you want to cook something, a kind of lower heat. But, I'm in a rush, so I'll bring you back shortly. <laughs> I'm just laughing folks, right? I'm walking down, I can actually, I can actually see a, a, a torch. I don't know if it's a head torch or it's a torch. Well, not it's punctured or not, I don't know. It might just be somebody walking their dog along the beach. But, fingers crossed, it's, it's maybe boxy. I'll soon find out, put it that way. Yeah, turns out it's Bugsy, he's just, he's just phoned me, so that's Bugsy coming along the beach. You're not be able to see it, but I turn it around, you're not be able to see it. Where he is, but he's, he's away down the beach. In fact, he possibly might be able to, but it's, it's pitch black, so he won't. You'll just see a tiny wee light in the distance. So, he's on his way. I'm assuming it is just Bugsy. Uh, I can only see one light, so. So, me and Bugsy are right, we look at it. It's just in time for some uh, southwest rice and beans. So, I'll bring you back once he's arrived. Right, here he's coming. Is there a pass up there? Do you know that, mate? Is there a pass up there? Uh, I, think, I think there is a kind of faint one, aye. Eh? That's that bugs is getting lost in them. It's getting lost, it's getting lost in the ferns. <laughs> You'll probably as well just walk along the beach bit, Bugsy, till you get to this bit. Oof. Aye, we're the wrong way. The Bugsy boy's here. Evening. Yeah. Evening. Well, there, there, no, there is, no, there's a bit of, there's a bit of grass up here. I'll, wait a minute, I'll show you a bit. Right, so, ready wise, southwest rice and beans. It says four cups of water. Just trying to kind of work it roughly four cups. Oh, I'm burn my fingers there. Just to be honest, have I put too much in? Yeah, no, it's not really much side of it. Right, now it says, just like any other one, I just, I, I just cut the top off of that, so I'm hoping that's what you're supposed to do. Right, and then leave that. 12 to 15 minutes. I'm just setting up down here, doing this path. So I'm doing it at the beach. Bugs is up in the kind of grass area at the back. Right, Bugs is. He's got a new tent, so I don't think he can. Where'd you get that, Bugs? Oh, I should have put it up before I brought it and put it, pitch it in the dark. This is the one I was saying I bought after that woman at the, the Paul Medi, the car boot. What, what is that? Look at the tent, is it? I don't know. She was crazy, she never read. She's. I shouldn't say anything, she watches this because I told her to get channel, but she'd, her man's left her. And she was yeah. at Paul Medi selling her boy stuff. You know what I mean? She was not very. Not very nice about him, but she was selling a tent. Oh, yeah. I got a couple of jackets, all sorts. But yeah, she's, yeah, he's ran away. 
What's that? Aye, Hale, Hale, Haleberg or something like that. She wanted crazy money, she was looking for 25 quid. I said, listen here. 25 quid? I said, 25 quid, you give me a chance at a Paul Medee car uh, boot sale, she can strap the lightning and something hand me 25 quid. So, I need a 20 quid for it. It's alright, folks, huh? Uh, I don't know, I mean, hopefully it's all here. I mean, I, but like, I was needing a wee one-man tent. It's a bargain, isn't it? You know, so, I don't know, it's probably some Chinese thing, but it looks no bad, actually. Aye. So far. Yeah, I'll see what it, see if it holds up. Yeah, right. I'm quite sure Stuart's probably got one up. Oh, Stuart, I know he knows every other tent, but... Oh, I know he's good, he knows he's got every tent. Aye, aye. Probably some. Looks alright, but actually 20, looks... 20 quid. Aye, 20 quid, you can't complain, eh? For a, what, a hippie, hippie, erg. She, she's got a pair of stuff, actually. She said she's got a garage, but she's selling everything. He's, he's pissed off with his car, he's selling 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 his car, he's she said to me, eh, uh, do you come to the house? But I was meant to go the night, that's why I couldn't camp. But then she phoned yeah. me and says, she'd have more chance to dig stuff out because the kids were going to her mother's tomorrow, so I'm going to go the morning. Well, she get any more of them, man. I'll buy one for, well, I'll buy one for that. He was into all sorts, well, apparently he was into all sorts, including the wee bird in his work. But he's got a jet ski, hasn't he? He's selling a lot. He's buying a jet ski, <laughs> Yeah, the summer's coming on. Yeah, What? Yeah, not bad for the, the car boot sale, huh? Right. Nice one. Right, let's see what this tastes like. So, what's it for you? Ready Wise South West Rice Beans. What's it, a 10? Somebody send you that, Colin? Aye, aye. Get a seven. It's alright. Looks good in the bag. Get another half point for on the looks. Right. Looks like a decent stew. I can also get a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah. So, I'll stick a link in the bowl anyway. Oh, right, we're, just, uh, we're just saying there. Uh, Minus 36. Minus 36. Looks Minus 36. I think it's 34. You put the stew on your gloves. <laughs> oh, so I have. You've stewed your gloves. Oh, I've stewed my gloves. <laughs> so, deep down we all know Stuart wants one of those bags. Oh, I wonder why that was taken. Got it on the wrong way. Deep weight. Oh, well, I did that as well. I'm so, thinking myself, that's taking a hell of a long time to inflate uh, that. The wee flexi tail pump. And we sit there for 20 minutes and wonder why it's not blown up and you've put it on the wrong way around. Yeah. 8 o'clock, time for a fire. So we've got an inch, we've got an inch in the fire here. Allegedly. Supposedly. We'll soon find out. The noise tonight is it's cake time. Belgian shoe buns. Mm -hmm. Strawberry jam donut fingers, fresh cream. <laughs> also, Flash Belgian here. chocolate eclairs. Or cream slices. What a selection. Oh, yes. <laughs> We've got a duo of each there. We've got oh. four to get through. Oh. Ah, and so the coffee's right, ready. Okay. Yeah. Brew's on. Brew is ready. I am going to fire on. I'm going to start this off here. Right, I'm, I'm having a cream slice. Oh well, I'll just have a cream slice as well. Then. Not the biggest, but certainly not the biggest. Oh yes. Oh, look at those jammy joints. Oh, a wee close up there. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's cake time. Strawberry jam donut, no, sir. More cakes. Suits oh, yes. you, sir. Suits, suits me, sir. Oh, 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 fresh oh, grass. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, oh, don't be dropping them. Oh, don't be dropping so them. So oh, oh. Right, here you go, Uncle Colin. Let's get tight. Right, it's about 10 o'clock. Hugs has nipped off to the tent. We've got a wee fire going. Ah, lovely. Can you keep it? Right, we've done that. So, I say, 10 o'clock. We're sitting in a... Sitting in a ditch. <laughs> but it's dry. It's definitely cold tonight. Minute you go away for the fire, it's like... Like icy. I think Bugsy said it was on minus three. There's a kind of forecast for snow, but... We'll not get snow down at the coast. Ah, oh, just... It's been a while since uh, we've had a few cakes, so you shout out to the Bugsy boy. Ching ching. We're just sitting around in the fire. <sighs> I'm going to climb into my hammock later and basically crash out. I managed to get a wee bit of driftwood. Bugsy bought a couple of kind of bags, of, I don't know what they were, kind of burning log kind of things. I had a bag of kindlers, we had a wood fire log, and Bugsy's managed to gather a wee bit of driftwood. So, we've been sitting for a few hours. Can't whack it. Right, in the hammock. So, good wee night with Bugsy. Always good to catch up with Bugsy. Start that guy. Uh, right, we'll have a wee brew. Wee brew. I was going to say a brew with a view, but there's no view because it's pitch black. But a good wee night. So, I'm going to have this. And then, well, you know how, uh, you know how Big Bugsy brings exceedingly good cakes? Well, funnily enough, right, sorry, two seconds, we'll go over the wee spillage there. Just try to get the, the thing back on my flask. Oh, the wee spillage, right, brew time. Not just brew time though. Right, never do. Oh, Bugsy. Bugsy, you're not for the star. So, Bugsy made his bed. There's still cakes left, so, there's shoe buns or chocolate eclairs. I just thought, you know what? Chocolate eclairs. Bon appetit. Enjoy the best of I had stuff to cook tonight. I've not cooked it. I'll blame the cakes. Right, I'm at. I'll be honest, I don't do that much filming tonight. Alright, sometimes you just like to, it's just good, good catching up with folk. Oh, can't tell, I do love a chocolate clear. Mm. It's a good wee spot, that. See the fact is, it's quite local. Mm. So you're just sitting and watching me eating again, aren't you? Well, sit. The more she's two chocolate clears. Drink my brew. Um, 
probably crash out after that. Oh well. Might as well get all over there. So comment below, what's your favourite cake? Uh, chocolate eclairs done in, cup of tea done in. Uh, so I'm half on my sleeping bag. On a slip. Oh, it's just so comfy, this. That's just definitely the hammock to end all hammocks. Is the Mock Dwar 5. It's just, when I say comfy, it's just, see the fact you can get a flat lie in it. It's just amazing. So I don't know how much. Might do a wee bit more yapping, or I might just crash it. It's not going to be too long a video. Just I've had a. It's just been a good night tonight. So good to catch up with Bugsy. Hopefully we'll get big security boy out. Yeah, big Scottish wanderer. Hopefully we'll get him out soon as well. I'm just kind of yapping on just now, so I might bring you back, or I might bring you back in the morning, or I might bring you back in five minutes. We'll just wait and see. Don't go away. Oh, morning. Oh, a brilliant sleep. What's it like? I'll show you what it's like outside. It's another beautiful day. I suppose I better get up, huh? <sighs> Definitely it was cold last night. Cold. I think what I'll do is I'll get, I'll get this down. Get the bag away. Get the bag packed. Get a brew on. Get Bugsy up. Go head down the road. But, oh, it's just been good. But it's great to get out again. Gotta love it. I packed up. Going for breakfast. Going for breakfast. So, new mess. Beautiful morning. So I think you off back down the beach. Uh, back to where the car is. We're going for breakfast. So as ever, thanks for watching. Uh, don't mind, leave a comment. Uh, hit subscribe, all that usual stuff. It's good advice for me. It's good advice for you. Bye bye. Adios. Bye -bye.